Happy New Year, Hunters. It's 2024, and you know what that means. New events. Starting things off, we have the continuation of Happy Hunting New Year. There is more to it than what was in my video that you guys haven't seen yet, but I was saying in my last video that I hope they did more with it because it felt like it just wasn't a lot for a New Year's event. Starting things off, Black Diablos is back. We had one aggressive angry lady monster to end the year, and then we have another one to bring in the new year. Remember, they'll only show up in desert habitats, but if you do find a desert habitat, they're everywhere. Even my cat's been paintballing them for me. Hopefully we're all strong enough to solo these by now, but if you're a new player, then welcome to Monster Hunter Now. If you are new, paralysis is the weakness you want to go for when it comes to Black Diablos. If you've been here for a while, ice is probably better. Her weapons and armor are crazy, especially the bow, so make sure you at least grind a little bit through this event. All the Black Diablos will disappear on Monday, January 8th at midnight. There are new quests that just dropped for Happy Hunting New Year, and they're actually pretty good. Spoilers for the quests, if you don't want to be spoiled, skip to this timestamp. It starts out with you having to gather 50 Palace Snow. If you reset your game every 15 minutes, your Palico can actually just gather that for you. And anecdotally, every time I pick up a Palace Snow, it is like one, but if I let my Palico pick it up, it's like three to five. So just, just let your Palico do it. I don't know if that's like a actual game function or if it's just me. My cat just has gathering up skills, I guess. After that, you have to gather a hundred Palace Snow, slay three Radovan, and slay 20 monsters of any kind. For doing that, you'll be rewarded 2024 armor tickets, 5,000 Zenny, and 400 Hunter rank points. But you only have to complete the first quest, which is the gather the 50 Palace Snow, in order to make the brand new headpiece equipment, the 2024 Specs. I look absolutely dripped out in these. And they also come with a brand new skill. You'll want to wish other players a happy new year. Okay. I was hoping at least there would be like fireworks when you hit the monsters or something. Like even if it's not like a skill that benefits you, at least there's some reason to put a headpiece on and not just have like your Rathalos attack up or something else advantageous. But basically the specs will send out a happy new year message at the beginning of a hunt if you're doing a group hunt. Like most of you are not going to. Most players are just going to be like... Neato. Anyway, the next round of quests in this is slay 10 large monsters with these specs equipped, slay 3 Berioth, and slay 20 monsters of any kind. This will reward you with 15,000 Zenny and 300 Hunter Rank points. But then after that round is the real reward. You're tasked with hunting a Black Diablos. Yes, it can be any level Black Diablos. I had someone in the Discord check. Thank you so much for doing that for me, bro. And slay a Zenogre of any level. If you complete those, then you get a Wyvern Gem Shard and a Zenogre Plate, which are both rarity six. So that is a very good reward. That's awesome. As well as 200 Hunter Rank points. <laughs> but that's actually a worthwhile goal to shoot for. This is really cool. I hope they continue things like this because then it's like a real incentive to like, okay, I want to grind hard. I want to get these like guaranteed rewards. Like that's sick. I genuinely want to go grind just so I can get there. And then if you complete those, then you are rewarded with a 2024 Happy Hunting New Year medal. But don't forget, there's also new gem deals. I'm not even going to talk about these. Buy them if you want. Like, I don't know the conversion rate of gems at all because I don't buy them except for like, Huntathons here and there. If you got a hundred bucks to drop on the game, then maybe that's a good deal. But holy heckin' heck, these prices, bro. Oh, oh, oh! But I there is this one that's uh, two hundred dollars. So like the price of, if not more than like a collector's edition of a brand new Monster Hunter game. Okay, whatever necessary evil. But make sure you get out there and grind for this event because as soon as the Black Diablos go away on Monday, January 8th, so does this quest line. But moving on to the rest of the events for January, quality special quests are coming back. They are always welcome. It looks like it's gonna be the same thing. All hunters HR 11 and above will have the chance to complete time limited events to obtain items that can be used to upgrade your equipment, such as Dragonite or Carpenter Bugs, as well as items like Monster Bone Plus and Zenny. But this time, you'll have from Friday, January 12th at 5 p.m. until Thursday, January 18th at midnight. So it looks like in general, they are moving away from like the super time limited quests and making them more like week long events, which is so much better. Thank you so much. Goodness. But then after that is the descent of the Azure King. 
from Monday, January 15th at 9 a.m. until Sunday, January 21st at midnight, you'll be able to hunt Azure Rathalos. It says, get ready to welcome Azure Rathalos in its very first appearance in Monster Hunter Now. We'll also have time-limited special quests rewarding a Hunter Medal and appearance rates of Rathalos and Azure Rathalos will be boosted over the weekend. That's sick. As long as you've completed Chapter 13 and unlocked Rathalos hunts, Azure Rathalos will appear in low numbers in forest habitats throughout the event. That's so awesome. That is a Monday to a Sunday that you have that much time to go out and find yourself Azure Rathalos. They're going to be fire weapons and I don't discuss leaks so I don't know what the armor is like but it's gonna be good. Join the discord if you want to talk about leaks. And then there's Bambro and Radabon week which I don't know who asked for that but like okay. From Monday January 22nd at 9 a.m. to January 28th at midnight. During the event all hunters HR 11 and above will be able to encounter Bambro in swamp habitats and Radoban in desert habitats more frequently than usual. Event details are subject to change. And that's it for January. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these news roundups and I really wanted to do it again starting the new year off right. But for December, I was just far too busy with the holidays and with my Niantic sponsorship. I had a lot of like emailing back and forth and like filming and then sending footage, etc., etc. As for content coming up soon, I have the Huntathon with the boys that I did where we went around and did a ton of Huntathons. Then we have an episode where I go through my Happy Hunting New Year Part 1 and test out some new equipment that I got for Christmas. And then I'm still going to put out that episode where I went to Texas with Sensei Seth and hunted a bunch of Legianas. Because I went to Texas, I had to use only Bowgun, which was rough for me. <laughs> And then I also have my episode for Black Diablos Part 1. Both of those are from a good while ago, but they're still entertaining videos and I, I need to clear some space on my computer for more content coming up. Anyway, I hope you had a wonderful holiday, Hunters. Happy New Year if I didn't say it to you yet. I hope you're excited for January. I'm, I'm pretty hyped about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it, happy hunting, and subscribe so you can go on this hunting journey with me. Until next time, Hunters. See you later.